Who here wants to stop hitting their driver right? Let's do it. Let's do it now. That go right as well. Oh yeah. Bye. Hi everyone, James Robinson here. If you're new to the channel and this is your first time watching my content, first of all guys, welcome to the channel. And secondly, if you're not new here and it's not your first time to the channel, then thank you very much for watching and thank you very much for putting up with us. On this channel, we provide you daily golf related content that hopefully helps you raise your game, generally helps you lower your handicap, but mainly, what does it do? What? Put you on the spot there, aren't I? Yeah, really. Well, I would concentrate on the driver then. I'm not listening to you. Just gets you enjoying golf more, mate, doesn't it? Correct. So, guys, let me introduce you to our high handicap golfer slash beginner golfer slash Mr. Fox. How are we doing, mate? Good, thank you. Good. So, we've been here at Aphrodite Hills, the wonderful golf resort in Cyprus, all week. And we've been having some lessons, haven't we, to try and help you break 100 in Dubai next month. Yep. Talk me through what you've got in your hand there. The big dog. Talk me through what's been happening with it. I'm going to put a few of the shots on um, on camera now. We've been very much to the right. A lot. <laughs> so today we're going to try and fix that, mate, and we're going to give yep. you a bit of a lesson. So guys, if you are a high handicap golfer, or if you are a beginner golfer, or if you're just sick of hitting your driver right, then make sure you stay tuned to this video. We're going to give him a lesson. Hopefully you can take a few things from it yourself. One thing I'd definitely say, and I think you'd be an advocate of this as well, guys, if you are hitting the ball right and if you are getting a bit fed up with it, go take a lesson yourself with your local PGA Pro, with your local pro. You're really enjoying, enjoying it, mate, aren't you? Not driving, now. Yeah, you're enjoying the lessons. Oh, the Tell lessons, me you're enjoying yeah. the lessons. I'm definitely enjoying the lessons. I'm gonna say. Right, mate, I'm <laughs> gonna let you continue warm up. So we have had a warm up already. This is something that you have to do just to kind of get yourself loose, to get yourself in the mood of hitting the club. Start with a few irons, then some hybrids, which is his favourite club. We'll come back to that. It's good, that, isn't it? Yeah, it's shiny, yeah. that one, mate. It's shiny, apart from that great scoia from the air. <laughs> but today we are going to focus heavily on driver. Right, mate, take it away. Rubbish. Where'd that one go? To the left. To the left, brilliant. <laughs> At it. At it, and this is one thing which you might see if you do struggle with hitting the ball right you may hit the odd one left but it can be down to the exact same issue within the swing one don't you hate it when people do that so when you are playing mate do you find that it's every time right, or is it some days right, some days left? Is it occasionally right, occasionally left? Is there a pattern? It's mainly right, but sometimes left. Yeah. We even tried using the illegal straight flying ball and... Um, Not even them could save me. But we lost them. So, there we go. All of them right as well. Yeah, they were. So, obviously, it's important, mate, to pick a point of reference. Now you're warmed up, we're going to just try and go straight over this tree here. Yep. So that's your fairway. Right. Now that's the typical one, isn't it? Yeah. Face like kind of wide open. So what we're going to do, guys, we're going to let him hit a couple more so that I, as a teach, can get a gist of what's happening. Obviously, I've spent a lot of time with him this week. I've spent a lot of time with him throughout his golfing career. So I sort of know where we're going to go with this, but then I'm going to film it on my phone. We're going to draw all over it, draw some lines on it, and then from there, hopefully, he'll get a little bit more feedback of what he needs to do. That was the typical one, mate, wasn't it? Yeah, that was the Fox special. Yeah. And I want any feedback from you that you, you feel like you need to give me, like if you felt like you did something in particular with your weight, or if you felt like you did something in particular with your, the club face or something like that. Great stripe, but it's the same one, isn't it? Yeah. It felt like it should have been good, that. Yeah? It just had that kind of, that, so that had that bit of slice on it, didn't it? Yeah. It kind of went that way, whereas a lot of the time you don't get that, they just go straight right. Mm. Go a couple more. That low one as well? Yeah, it all seems to be coming very out of the bottom of the club. Okay. Oh, 
Is that right? Right again, bottom yep. of the club again. So what we're seeing now, now guys is a little bit of a pattern in that sometimes it goes right, sometimes it goes left. But for me, there's one thing here which is doing which I think if we sort out, we'll at least bring those in. A two-way miss is obviously quite destructive and it can break your confidence a little bit as well because you don't know exactly where to aim. Let's take a look at these swings on the phone now and see exactly where we're going to go. Right guys, so as we can see here, we've got a facing angle on the left-hand side and we also have a down-the-line angle on the right-hand side. Now initially we're going to focus on the down-the-line angle, which is this right-hand side here. And as we go through the swing, you'll see one big factor in that as soon as we take the club away here, we have a club face, which to me is a little bit open. So Fox is stood at the side of me here, he'll be able to see this. And from there, it doesn't work it through bad positions. He, nice, he gets it nicely through the forearm there. You could say it's a little bit flat, but for a high handicap or a beginner, really don't have too much of an issue with that. As we go up to the top of the backswing, there's people who'd pay a lot of money for that, isn't it, the top of the backswing? Let's clear that off so we can have another look. The right forearm's in a nice place, the left arm's in a nice place. Now, a real interesting thing, which we will see more on the left-hand side of the screen, the face on, as he gets to the top of the backswing, there's actually a good load in this side so i wasn't expecting this either is a nice load into that foot there and in the right hand side of the screen you will see that it kind of moves more into the left side so it's more of a reverse pivot we see how the the lead knee there just flexes a little bit too much now this this is obviously just a little bit of inconsistency which we're seeing but it's great to see that we can maybe try and give him a drill to make it more consistent because if you look at the top of the back swing on the left hand side of the screen that's good isn't it that's money the face is still a little bit open that's a cause for concern and as we go through the shot you can see that there's a sort of back up through the ball which i would expect to see because that's not something which you can be very inconsistent with and if we look at the right hand side of the screen definitely a back up here with an open club face there completely open isn't it still Co completely open you could see that he's trying to flip it over with the hands that's where the left miss comes in so when the ball goes over there to the left it just means the hands have been overactive but if the weight is back so if we clear that again and if the weight is on the back foot here at impact that club face is going to want to be flipping over either that or we leave it wide open and that's your shot to the right so generally what a lot of people would say is if it's going right you're coming over the top i don't really see that too much i just see a little bit of a club face issue due to not not moving the weight as such or not getting the the pressure through properly so let's jump back on the range let's see if we can sort out a drill for that right mate so some pretty good stuff there really a, a couple of things which because they're so inconsistent can make it quite difficult so if you remember a drill we did ages ago to get your striking your irons better we put a little reference point here in the middle of the stance yep. just to help you get the pressure or the weight kind of loaded back and loaded through it's such an easy thing to get wrong with the driver because we're always taught can i grab this for you we're always taught that with a driver we need to get the spine angle back we need to hit it on the up but you still need to get moving towards the target you'll never see you'll never see golfers on tv depends which tv you watch i suppose but you'll never see top golfers hit a driver and finish here because it's just not going to happen you can't control that club face i'm a huge believer that there's a metaphor it's a metaphor something that's like here. Yeah. You say something's like it is. Exactly. Have you ever towed a trailer or a caravan? No. No. Guys, hit those comments below. Have you ever towed a trailer or a caravan? Because if so, you can totally agree with this metaphor. You are the car. Uh. This is the trailer. Yep. Okay. A caravan's like a camper van if you're in the USA, but you hook it onto the back of your car. I don't know if you have those in America or not. But basically, you're the car. You keep accelerating through and the trailer stays behind you. It goes around all the corners, no problem. If you slam on the anchors and stop moving forward, anchors are brakes, everyone kind of knows that, but then the, the trailer or the caravan will jackknife. That means kind of come loose because it's not in control anymore. Yeah. That's what's happening with your club face. We're not in control of it because we're backing up away from it sometimes. Other times, generally when you get the weight through properly, that's when you'll hit it left because you know usually that you're struggling to, to get through, to stay, you're struggling to get forwards, so then because you are getting forwards, you're doing what you normally try to do to hit it straight, but because you don't hit it straight, you hit it left because you've done the weight properly. <sighs> Does that make sense? Yes. So what we're going to try and do is we're going to put a club in the middle of your stance here. Yep. As you load up, just like any other club, careful, I don't want to knock your head off here. Just like any other club, we're going to load up onto the right side here. 
and then as you come through the shot you're just going to move into that left side and I want you to feel as though on the way back the club face is level with your spine angle here we're not opening that club face up generally what you will see if someone takes the club away here and the face is open you're really going to struggle throughout the swing to square that up and if you do square it up you'll probably overly square it up that's again when it can go left so all we're going to do to start with is we're going to hit some shots at about kind of 50 60 percent make sure the club's nice and square here you see i'm not opening it wide up and just really move through the motions and just try and get that ball coming out nice and straight yeah you enjoy that one yeah i did yeah <laughs> You see guys, this should also help with his ball striking as well. I'll put up now on screen a picture of his driver and you can see that the ball marks are kind of sporadic over the face. Remember guys, he's a beginner, he's a high handicapper. We kind of expect that, sorry, but this should help. Sorry, what? Yeah, sorry Mizuno. <laughs> Good man, so just here. So nice and low back, club face. You're going to feel as though it's shut. Yeah. It's not shut, but it's... Good. Perfect. Let me just film that from this side. So this is the new takeaway we're looking for, guys. Perfect, do that again. Absolutely perfect. You'll see here how the club face is matching the spine angle perfectly. Right, mate. A couple of those at a low speed for me. Yep. Good. And again, you can keep a rhythm though. You don't have to stop. You can right. just kind of go nice and fluid. Nice and fluid, up, yeah. up and down. See how that one didn't go right, by the way, as well? Yep. To be fair, we'd be better off doing that then. Well, exactly. Good man. Good. See where it went like, but it was just left of the tree, to be fair. What was the strike like? It felt nice. I didn't, I didn't actually see where it came out, to be fair, because of the sun, but... Good. So a little bit low, a little bit skinny, but straight down the fairway, running up to about 150. Yeah. And this is the thing guys, so the big thing that we're kind of discussing at the moment, we're trying to break 100 next month in Dubai, it's how bad is the bad. At the moment it's not how good is the good, he's always going to hit a couple of great shots around because he's got that natural athletic ability there. He's going to repeat that now for the next probably six months, but it's about how bad is your bad. If you're going in the housing estate with your bad shot, it's going to be very difficult to amass a score. If your bad shot's a little bit low, a little bit skinny, not a great strike, but down the fairway, we're Thank away. You. Natural athletic ability. <laughs> we just wear black socks with shorts. Look, I forgot some. Right. <laughs> Open that one. Open. Did well though. And you see, that's where because you you move in through the shot, generally your body will rotate, so the club face has more chance of squaring up. Yeah. But it was open on the way back. Sorry, boss. Okay. I mean, if you don't get me wrong, if you get if you get the weight transfer in perfectly every time, the club face isn't as important. It's still absolutely massively important, but because you're turning through and actually moving towards the target, the club face will square up a little bit more. Perfect. Do that again. Perfect. You see now, if you turn your chest, bang, that's square. The club face is square at impact. Unless the path is absolutely horrendous, it's going to go there or thereabouts. Yeah. yeah? Oh, stop it. Are you, I'm quite amazed that you've done that so quickly. Go again. That one there where you just where you, where, where held it in tight to my chest and yeah. then you put me through it. Just turned it. Yeah, because I think I'm, what I was doing were maybe still arms and not. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Not twisting. And remember guys, this is a subjective lesson for Foxy. If you do want to kind of stop your swing going right, make sure you do get a lesson. By all means, try this if you feel like you have a similar similar issue, but don't just do this because it's working for uh, for him. Might see if it'll work for me. You're doing all right this week, Bobby. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit skinny again. So let's try putting that into a full swing now. So kind of commit to a full back swing. You may have noticed that his golf swing's got a little bit shorter because we're going 50, 60%. But actually the ball's been going probably 180, 200 yard plus on a carry with some of them nice and straight. 220 maybe. On a good day. Well, let's be fair, mate. On a proper good day, you get it up near me, don't you? Yeah, on a proper good day. I don't have many of them, but... Yeah. That's your perfect routine before every shot. Just check that, that was open, that one. 
perfect. Big high draw? Probably more mate to be fair I think in the in fence with the range balls but you see distance really isn't even the big thing at the moment there's no way we're going to be playing this 100 challenge off the black tees or something like that if you can get it out there 200 200 plus off every tee straight straight that's the, that's the thing indicate get it straight yeah how does that club feel like down the down in the middle do you feel like you're kind of loading and unloading a little bit better I feel like yeah I feel like I'm using my hips a lot more yeah Unbelievable. That is unbelievable. Guys, I'm going to put this on video again now and I'm going to show you the same thing. And let's see if we can tell a difference. Obviously, it's very difficult to visually tell differences so early on, but I think we're going to see it here. I feel completely different in the swing. Oh, thanks, mate. Come out high on the club, but it's straight. That's the thing, isn't it? It's still in play. You see, on that one there, we can see that the club face was open. So as you take it back here. So guys, I'm not here to be his best friend at the moment. I'm here to get you to hit better golf shots. And that's something which in a lot of lessons, you've got to be careful that people aren't being too nice to you. So as we take this back, look here, mate, club face open. Yeah. So that's not level with the spine angle, is it? No. But what you've done is you've loaded up a little bit better. So you've not flexed that left knee as much, got through the shot nicely. You can see a nice high finishing position. The ball's gone a little bit high. The club face was open. You could say it went a little bit right but then it's drawn back because it was a bit of a toey strike. So we're in the fairway. And this is again, how bad is your bad? Not as bad. Let's take a look at it from the front, front on. Ingrain that feeling. Good. Now that one didn't go right, did it? No, it went straight. Straight, a little bit low, but low, again, but... we're not really that bothered. And if we have a look at this now, I will go through the practice swings as well, because they're just as important. So we got the club right in the end. Can't really see the club face I've not done a great, great job of the camera work there but you can see how here club face isn't fanning open you can see the hands in a better position as well so then as we get through into the shot you can see at the top of the backswing it's not as open either look at how far forward you've got there through the shot you could say that's almost too much but for what we're trying to do I don't mind it at all lovely finishing position ball went straight I'll tell you what guys thank you so much for watching bloody hell I yeah, know, okay. yeah I maybe get down. down a little bit guys thank you there is a slope here though big slope guys thank you so much for watching we do you've enjoyed that and more to the point we hope you found it a little bit helpful if you do hit your driver right and it frustrates you make sure you go take a lesson off somebody you've done well how do you feel feel better just a few little kind of not big changes a lot of people think that if they're hitting the ball right that's a slice that means you're coming over the top of it you see how i'll keep doing this it depends entirely on what you're doing it depends entirely on how you're hitting the ball generally i notice that when foxy gets it it goes straight it either goes straight right straight left or straight that tells me that generally it's more a club face issue but again you have to be able to see them you have to be able to look at themselves guys thank you so much for watching we do you've enjoyed it. if you have hit that subscribe button below huge thanks to the guys here at aphrodite hills for hosting us this week fantastic venue make sure you get down here if you are in cyprus cheers for coming mate thanks for having me no very good very good thanks to mizuno for helping him out with the series as well will he break 100 in a month's time after this he's got to do hasn't he see you soon